What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 4, the mid-season finale, uh, the end of Part 1. Uh, episode 4 starts with Charlotte preparing for their Halloween party at the White House as she has a conversation once again with Warren. Uh, she's hesitant because she doesn't want someone else to die. Warren has a plan though to have every inch of the party covered. President Collins sees Henry in his bedroom and they mourn Joseph together, but Henry says no need to miss him because he's in the chair next to, the, next to them, but he's just talking about Chucky, of course, parading his Joseph. Chucky is hiding his aging process with a Phantom of the Opera costume for Halloween. Chucky intends for Lexi, Devin, and Jake to be his final sacrifices to appease Dembala. Tiffany is dropped off at prison and none of the officials believe she's tiffany because she spent so long pretending to be jennifer tilly tiffany gets a standing ovation from her cellmates as she walks through to her cell chucky and henry are greeted by the babysitter while charlotte and collins leave for the party we get another scene with tiffany in prison while halloween ends plays in the background now, i've been told this has been swapped out with the bride of frankenstein lexi devin and jake arrive at the white house dressed like good guy doll personas Grant, me, Grant greets them at the party and keeps flirting with Lexi before he introduces them to Collins and Charlotte. Collins starts seeing an apparition of his dead son, Joseph, so he begins to follow this apparition. Spiegel and Spencer notice the reporter Gretchen at the party and they have a brief conversation regarding why she's here. Lexi asks Grant where Henry is and he says he's upstairs. And then Lexi tells Grant she'd love to see his room. Chucky is shown watching from upstairs saying bring it on bitches henry's babysitter comes in and talks to henry saying most people are uncomfortable with the supernatural she starts naming all of these weird sightings and then henry suggests playing hide and seek grant walks the trio around the white house and then takes lexi to a room alone for just the two of them it's his bedroom and then he starts doing this cringy singing and they start dancing before they have a more normal interaction they start making out while Devin and Jake keep searching for Chucky. Tiffany is excited to see her voodoo gifts arrive at the prison and she starts controlling the inmate she met earlier, forcing, forcing her to slit her own throat slowly before cutting her wrist, stabbing herself in the ass, and then chipping away at her skin and then submerging herself in boiling water. The trio rush downstairs at the White House and find Henry with Joseph. The lights go out, Joseph has vanished, and the trio goes searching while the Collins are rushed to safety. President Collins follows Joseph, aka Chucky, to a chair he sat in and Henry ends up taking Joseph away. The nanny comes into the party saying she sees all the ghosts and then a chandelier falls onto the crowd, killing several people, including her. Tiffany is brought a tray of food and the guard spits, spits fun in her tray or spits gum in her tray. Tiffany begins doing more voodoo spells and the guard starts treating her with more respect after this and she uses her to begin an escape plan. Chucky watches from outside a window and pleads with Dembala to lift the curse placed on him, but the aging has only worsened. That is how the mid-season finale of Chucky season three will go down. The briefest I can put it into terms because there's no need to really go into all the nitty gritty details of it all. Leave some surprises up for you guys to enjoy. What did you think about that final shot of the episode? Probably one of the worst looks of Chucky I've ever seen in my life. He looks terrible. The man's aging like a, well, <laughs> he's, he's aging like spoiled milk. <laughs> but you guys can let me know what you think about the episode down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What have you thought about the season so far? Because I know a lot of you have started to say, I see where Critical Overlord was coming from when he says that it started teetering into the campiness a little bit too much. Now, granted, a lot of people are ignoring the fact that I said I still enjoyed it for what it was, which I did because it's Chucky and it's inherently been campy since its inception. But some things about it do need to be criticized because how else could we get something better? I think that they need to stick to what they were telling us we would get, which is a darker season. And I hope that is going to come in the later half of season three, which could end up being one of the better seasons if they commit to that and if we get some more coherent writing in the process when it comes to what's going on with Dembala 
and giving us some more, I guess, about what you've already set up with that witch doctor in the hospital. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.